The Universe 2 Total Shoulder is a device designed to treat osteoarthritis of the shoulder by replacing the degenerative portions of the shoulder joint. The surgeon begins by exposing the shoulder joint. A cutting guide is placed on top of the humeral head. A guide wire is then placed into the bone through the guide to prevent slippage. Two pins are then drilled into the humeral head through the guide to determine alignment of the cut. The guide is removed and a bone saw is used to cut the humeral head using the pins as a reference. The top portion of the humeral head is removed along with the pins. A wide drill or reamer is used to make holes that extends from the cut surface of the bone to the center of the humeral shaft. A punch is then inserted into this hole and is used to create room for the prosthesis. A trial prosthesis is inserted and the surgeon then turns his attention to the glenoid. A drill guide is centered on the glenoid and a hole is drilled through the guide. A bone cutter is used to smooth the glenoid to fresh bleeding bone. This allows the prosthesis to heal attached to the bone. A second guide is inserted and a hole is drilled above and below the center hole. The bone between the holes is removed and a punch is inserted to convert the hole into the shape of a triangle. Cement is placed in the hole of the glenoid and on the back of the prosthesis and the new glenoid joint surface is cemented into position. Once the cement has dried, attention is turned back to the humerus and the trial prosthesis is removed. The final prosthesis is impacted into the humeral shaft. It can also be cemented if necessary. A trial of the replacement joint surface is conducted. The surgeon tests the range of motion and stability of the prosthesis. If the surgeon is satisfied with the performance of the trial implant, the final implant head is then impacted into the shaft to replace the surface of the joint and complete the operation.